Dillashaw has doubt that the UFC bantamweight champion Aljamain Sterling will be able to return after his recent neck surgery. The top of the bantamweight division has been an interesting place for many months now ever since Sterling won the belt from Pyotr Jan via disqualification. We were scheduled to see the rematch later this month, but as a result of Sterling pulling out due to lingering issues following neck surgery, Jan will now fight Corey Sandhagen for the interim strap. TJ Dillashaw, a former champ himself, has questioned whether Sterling will even be able to make a comeback given the severity of what's happened. I don't know if Aljo's ever going to come back to be honest. From what he had done, it's kind of crazy. If I was him, I would have waited to get that done. My coaches, my strength and conditioning coach, as well as my wrestling coach, sells the medical equipment that did his neck, and don't believe he's ever going to come back. I think he's just holding onto this belt as long as he can. I've had that feeling already, so when he pulled out of the fight, I wasn't surprised. I bet he's dealing with nerve damage. I bet he's dealing with a lot of stuff. You go get your neck cranked on with what he's had done, it's definitely not good. We'll see. I could be completely wrong, but I don't know if he's ever going to come back. Daniel Cormier has given his thoughts on Henry Cejudo's potential shot at becoming the UFC's first ever three-weight champion. There are a handful of fighters who have been able to call themselves two-weight world champions in the UFC, and even fewer who have held the two belts at the same time. Cormier and Cejudo fall into the latter of these categories, but neither has been able to turn the two straps into three. As Cejudo continues to flirt with the idea of going after the featherweight crown, Cormier has spoken about the possible accomplishment which he deems to be almost impossible. To be a three division champion, everybody thought Conor McGregor was going to be the one that pursued this first. Now it seems like Henry is going to be the first person to try to attempt to do something that honestly seems impossible. Regardless of what people think, we can't picture Triple C shying away from the chance to become C4 anytime soon. On a recent episode of the Weighing In Podcast, Big John reacted to the death of Justin Thornton following his bare-knuckle FC knockout loss to Dylan Kleckler. He had the following to say, You've got to look at this and you've got to say, Alright, bare-knuckle boxing is a fairly new sport, even though it's an old sport. But as far as this promotion and everything that's going on, they're getting a lot of guys that are old. A lot of older fighters that just don't have good fight records. And, well, they're putting them in there. And it's like, why are you putting that guy in there? Because he'll sign the contract, that's why. At a certain point, the promoter has got to assume the responsibility of who he's putting on that card. You've got to. When you're putting people on that don't have any wins in their last five fights, and now you're taking them and putting them into another sport, are you expecting them to do well? No, you're expecting them to hopefully be a highlight. And that's never a good situation to be in. And it's wrong if you're the promoter wanting it, because it just goes against the sporting aspect. You play football, for example. It may have a lot of contact to it, but it isn't fighting. There's no playing in fighting. Same with boxing and other combat sports. You are not playing kickboxing. You are not playing MMA or bare knuckle boxing. It is a fight and there's too many times people have lost their lives in that ring or cage. It is a serious business. Former UFC women's bantamweight champion Misha Tate decided to hold Aspen Ladd's coach Jim West accountable for his recent remarks. If you recall, Tate had lashed out at West's pupil in Ladd last week, this after she failed to make weight for her fight at UFC Vegas 38. It's one thing to miss weight. It's another thing to try and cheat the scale and use every excuse in the book to not weigh in properly. Everyone saw you cheat and still came in a pound over. I bet you were every bit of 139 pounds, Misha Tate said in a recent tweet. When asked by a fight fan how Ladd had cheated, Tate responded with the following explanation. Guaranteed she didn't want to put both hands up because she wanted to grab the curtain structure placed around her. Nice try. Moments following Misha Tate's tweets, Ladd's coach Jim West came to the defense of his fighter while accusing Cupcake of ducking Aspen. Misha Tate, you are a coward. Remember when you lied saying that we wanted you to fight late notice at 145, but you went on record saying we wanted it at 135 and we know for a fact you said you didn't want that tough of an opponent. Trust me, have good inside information. Please try and stand still with your hands in the air while dehydrated, dizzy, and nauseous, all while trying to hold yourself because you are bleeding. You better hope you never have to fight Aspen. Oh wait, you probably won't, you coward. Misha recently took to Twitter where she held Jim West accountable for his previous remarks. Speaking of cowards, Jim West deletes his tweet. Luckily, I'm no rookie, so here's a screenshot to keep him accountable. 
Misha Tate is slated to return to the Octagon at UFC Fight Night 198 on November 20th for a bantamweight bout with Ketlin Vieta. 